Solomon, a man inspired by the wisdom of God, wrote, A man is satisfied with the yield of his lips. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18, 20, and 21. The mouth of the righteous delivers men. The tongue of the wise brings healing. Proverbs 12, 6, 18, and 25. A soft answer turns away wrath. A gentle tongue is a tree of life. It ministers healing. Proverbs 15, 1, 4. Pleasant words are like honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the body. Proverbs 16, 24. For the, from the fruit of his words a man shall be satisfied with good. The lips of the righteous feed many. The mouth of the right, righteous is a fountain of life. Proverbs 10, 21 through 11. Jesus says that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, Matthew 12, 34. With the word of God abounding in our hearts, we may be as his mouth. The Lord says, if you utter that which is precious and not that which is worthless, you shall be as my mouth, Jeremiah 15, 19. David says, I will voice his word with my mouth, Psalms 119, 13. Therefore, let no evil talk come out of your mouths but only that which is good for edifying, as it fits the occasion, that it may, it may minister grace to those that hear. Ephesians 4.29 Let your speech always be gracious, seasoned with salt. Colossians 4.6 In his teachings on the tongue, James says that the tongue has the ability to rule the whole body. In fact, your tongue will reveal who is the pilot of your life. James 3, 3 and 4. Jesus says in Mark 11, 23, that if you say something in faith, you will have what you say. In light of this truth, these daily confessions are composed to feed your spirit with the faith of God so that your mouth will overflow in positive, creative confession. The Word of God will increase in your life and prevail mightily as you let the Word dwell in you and rich, dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Acts 19.20 and Colossians 3.16. Just wanted to get that down so I could put it on YouTube. Okay, God bless you. And adios.